see how light that is like that is super light hey guys what's up welcome back this was not even a video that i had planned y'all this was pretty much spur of the moment but i was like wait a minute pause before i even put my lip on today let me do a video on this because I have a new lip combo that I wanna share with you guys and I also have some brown lip liners that I wanna share. Now I know I have done several of these videos in the past but this is more of an updated one. So I have three affordable ones and three more so like on the higher end. Um, I probably, I, actually I have. I briefly mentioned a couple of these before but I haven't really just done like a full dedicated video on it. So that is what we're doing today. <laughs> So I want to show you how they look on my lips as well as swatch on the hand so y'all can see if there's a difference or not. So um, yeah, if you're on the hunt for a chocolate brown liner for the fall and winter time, this is the video for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find the videos that I've already filmed like featuring browns and um, soft, lighter brown liners, natural browns, all of that. I'll find those videos and have them linked down below so you guys can check those out as well. So if you don't see a certain brown liner that you know I've mentioned a million and one times on my channel, nine times out of 10, well, 10 times out of 10, it was because it was mentioned in those videos. So yeah, I'll have them linked down below for you guys. But anyway, get you a snack, get you a drink, get a notepad because you need to take some notes, <laughs> get comfortable and let's get into it. Now, before I even put on my lip combo, let's swatch the lip liners. So I have three affordable ones and three more so on the higher end. Let's talk about the ones that are more high end first and then we'll trickle down to the more like affordable ones because one of the ones that are affordable, that's the one that I've been rocking a lot lately. So we'll just say that for the last. So for the ones that are more so high end, but they're not expensive y'all. I mean, you can get them from Ulta and Sephora um, hmm, Nordstrom, Dillard's, you know, places like that. So I have Huda Beauty. This one is the lip contour in the shade Rich Brown. I remember sharing this with you guys, I think two times. One of them was in a haul. Another time, I think I was just putting it on and like a get ready with me. But if you haven't seen this one from Huda Beauty, this is a really creamy liner. And I think all of the ones that I'm sharing with you guys are super duper creamy anyway. So it's not hard to apply on the lips. But this is Rich Brown from Huda Beauty. It literally matches my sweater. So let's put her on. I'm going to put it all over the lips so y'all can see like how the color looks. But usually I just put it on just, um, I just line my lips with it and then put on whatever color I want but like for you know to mix it in like on the center of my lips but I'm just gonna put it all over so y'all can really see the color of these liners and I'm gonna probably get a little close to the camera so y'all see see let me get closer yeah so this is super creamy really easy to apply and this one I like because you can actually twist it up. You don't even have to sharpen this. Just twist it up. It actually has a little pencil sharpener at the bottom of it, but I never use it. I just twist it up. Um, but if you want more of a skinnier line, then you can just use that sharpener at the bottom. Okay, Huda Beauty. That looks good by itself, girl. You don't even have to put this with anything. If you just wanna rock this by itself, there you go. Ooh, fall, 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 all day, every day, y'all. Anyway, the next one I have is by Smashbox. This is in the shade Dark Brown, and this is another really creamy, chocolatey brown. The difference between this one and Huda Beauty, this one looks like it has a little bit of red to it, but it's still really, really pretty. And now let's put her on. This is why I like for my lip liners to be creamy because just say if I do want to wear it all over my lips, I'm not going to struggle with it because it's so creamy and smooth and buttery. 
All right, so this is what the Smashbox lip liner looks like. As you can see on the hand, it pulls a little bit more red than the Huda, like I was saying earlier. And then on the lips, it also pulls, I mean, you can obviously see that it is a little bit warmer, a little bit more red, but it's still a really pretty chocolate color. So the last higher end lip liner I have to share is by Natasha Denona. This is in the shade, what shade is this? What shade is this? Wow, like for real, what shade is this? Uh, I know it's, oh, Lala. So let me swatch her beside these. This one is for those of you who want a super duper rich, dark, like legit dark, dark, dark chocolate lip liner. So there it is right there. You can see it up close. You can see a huge difference between the other two. You can definitely see a huge difference with the Natasha Denona. It's not, like it doesn't pull red. It's like actually a true chocolate brown, to be completely honest. So let's go ahead and put it on. Just look how easy these are to put on, y'all. It's like you're putting on a lipstick. <laughs> All right, so here is Lala from Natasha Denona. This color reminds me, oh, it kind of reminds me of the one from Dose of Colors, the one that they did in collaboration with Nima, um, Nima Tang. But I think hers was a little bit darker than this one, but it does kind of remind me of it, but really pretty and rich and chocolatey. I'm actually gonna keep all of these on my hand so that way y'all can see the drugstore compared to the higher end and see if you know you can find a dupe. Um, so drugstore, we have two NYX Cosmetics, one Elf Cosmetics. The first one from NYX is in the shade Coco. I mentioned this one with you guys early, like the beginning of this year, but I haven't really used it much and I haven't really talked about it much and it was not featured in my other brown lip liner videos. So I just wanna share it with you guys so y'all can, have some options so this one pulls pretty red it's almost close to the natasha denona um lala but it's actually a little bit more red than natasha denona let me put a little swatch uh yeah let's do a swatch right up under here so y'all can see it closer so there it is and then natasha denona is right in the middle so obviously it is a little bit more red than natasha so let me go ahead and put her on. So one thing about the NYX Cosmetics lip pencil is not as creamy or as smooth as the ones that I just tried on for you guys. If y'all are familiar with MAC Cosmetic lip pencils, that's kind of how they are. All right. So here it is. Um, if you like your browns to be more of a red tone brown, then I think you will really like this one. When I put this on with a nude lipstick or a nude lip gloss, it makes it look even more red. So yeah, if you prefer this type of brown, so like a red brown, then you will really, really like this one. This next one from NYX is in the shade Cappuccino. This one reminds me so much of MAC Cosmetics Cork. So there it is. And it's a little bit lighter than all the other browns that I swatched. So if you're into more of a natural softer brown, then I think you'll really like this one because it's not too dark and it's almost like the color of my lip line, my natural lip line. but it looks really good all over the lips. All right, so this is how it looks. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is my favorite one. I love this shade of brown. It goes with the eyes that I have on today. This eyeshadow is um, it's from a NARS eyeshadow quad. Um, which one is it? Taj Mahal eyeshadow quad. But, and it's just one shade out of the, um, out of the eyeshadow palette, but love this color, y'all. The color the undertone, just the tone itself is so pretty by itself. It's pretty paired with any other lip product. It is just gorgeous. 
So this last one I have to share is the one that I'm gonna show with my current favorite lip combo. It's Elf Cosmetics in collaboration with Tiana Major. This came in a lip kit, so you get the lip liner and there's also a lip gloss in it. And the shade is called Real. So I'm gonna put this all over the lips like I was doing the other ones and I'm also gonna just, um, I'm gonna take it off and then do my lip combo that I've been doing so that way y'all can see, um, you know, how it looks. But let me just put it all, oh, let me swatch it on my hand first so y'all can see the color. So here is that one from e.l.f. right here at the end. So it's definitely a difference. I think all of these are different in their own way. So, yes, let's go ahead and put her on. Y'all, e.l.f. Cosmetics, there is another brown lip liner that I did share in my other lip liner video. The set is called Retro, it's, uh, yeah, from the Retro Paradise collection. And there is a brown liner in that collection that I used to use all the time. And that collection is still available too if y'all wanna get your hands on it. I'll have it in the description. But e.l.f. doesn't come, like they don't make lip liners that I can use. And when I saw that they had one in that set, I snatched it up. I bought more than one. I have some backups. And now that they come out with this one, I also bought some backups of this. So that just tells you how much I love, love these lip pencils from e.l.f. So yeah, this is how it looks. Another true chocolate brown. This one matches my sweater perfectly and I just freaking love it. So let me go ahead, take this off the lips and show you my new lip combo that I have been obsessed with, y'all. Okay, this lip combo came about so randomly. The other week I was doing my makeup and I was looking for my Revolution Pro lipstick in the shade Latte. That's my favorite lipstick, one of my favorite lipsticks, y'all. So I couldn't find it. I pulled out this one from Too Faced. It's in the shade Doll Face, and this is a really light lipstick, like really light, like donut white on my lips. So I said, let me try it out with my Elf Cosmetics lip liner, and I loved, loved, loved it. So when I put it on, I was like, this is too matte, being that this is pretty light. Let me put something on top of it. And I put on this gloss from Chanel. It's in the shade 726 perfection so let me show you how I do it I first go in with the elf liner and I just take it around the edge of my lips okay and then I take the Too Faced lipstick this is girl when did they come out with these I hope it's still available <laughs> but it's in the shade doll face um, but it's from their peach their peach collection that they had a couple years ago. But anyway, I just put it on the center of my lips like this. See how light that is? Like that is super light. I just put a little bit right there in the center. And then I blot my lips together so we can kind of mix in with that brown. Take a little bit more, blot. Then I'll take my finger and kind of blot it in as well. So once I got that, I told myself I needed a gloss, like something to just kind of spice it up because I felt like it was too matte. If the lipstick was a little bit darker, then I would have just, you know, went away, like went without a gloss. Let me put a little bit more on right here. But since this is so light, I needed a gloss to kind of, you know, make it look a little better on the lips. So the gloss is next and I just put it all over. This is a really pretty baby pink. And I think the gloss just helps the lipstick blend in more with the lip liner. Cause I'm able to actually move my lips around because it's not too matte and this is what i've been rocking now 
I kind of go back in with the lip liner because sometimes I feel like it's a little too light. So I kind of tone it down some more with the lip liner, just kind of go around the edges like this. A little in the center. A lot. I just kind of play around with it until I get, you know, the perfect mixture. Just like that. See how a brown can just tone it down a lip. And then I get the gloss one more time and just go right here in the center. And that is it, y'all. This has been my current go-to lip combo, and I love. So yes, girl, that is it. That is all that I have for today's video. I hope it was helpful if you were on the hunt for like a new chocolate brown liner. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And I'll have all of these in the description as well if you guys are wanting to check those out. But that is it. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.